Hello, it's Technology Central here, and welcome to this Google Sheets formulas tutorial on how to use the VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP functions. The VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP functions are both used to extract data from tables. VLOOKUP, or vertical lookup, is used to extract data from vertical tables like this, and HLOOKUP, or horizontal lookup, is used to extract data from horizontal tables like this one. For these functions to work, our data must be in ascending order. For numerical values, that means increasing as you move across or down your table. And for alphabetical values, or words like these ones, they need to be in alphabetical order, starting from A and ending at Z. If you're unsure how to sort your data to get it into these forms, there will be a tutorial coming out on our channel about how to do that. Go and check out that tutorial. Once we've got our data in the right format, we can begin putting in our functions. Let's start with the VLOOKUP function. Like all formulas, we start by typing equals. Now we enter VLOOKUP. This help text dialog might pop up. If it's blocking part of the screen that you need to access, click this small arrow to minimize it. The first term that we need to enter is our search key. Our search key is what we're going to be looking up in our table. I want to be searching for the item, so I'm going to select the item here. Now enter a comma. The second field is the range. This is the full range of data that is in our table. My table is these two columns here, so I'm going to select those two columns. You don't need to include headings when you select the range. Now enter a comma. Finally, we return the index. This is which column we want to get the data from once we find our search term. We are going to be searching for the item, which is book in this example, which is in our first column. This column has index one. If we wanted to return the item, which isn't very interesting, you would enter index one. We want to get the price, which is in the second column in our range. We therefore need to enter index two to specify the second column. Now we can close our brackets and press enter. As we can see, we've returned the price of the book as £9. We can change this to be something else in our table, such as headphones, and it will then automatically go and get the price from our table. If we enter something in this field, which isn't found in the first column of our table, what will happen is it will search through here and stop at the previous entry which comes before it in the alphabet. We'll see an example of how this works with the HLOOKUP function in a minute. So now let's jump into the HLOOKUP function. Like with the VLOOKUP function, we type equals HLOOKUP. Again, we select a search key. In this instance, it's going to be the income here. Then enter a comma. We now select a range of data, which is going to be this table here and enter a comma. And then finally, we specify the index. Again, we're going to be searching through the first row in our table, which is our income, and this will have index one. And we want to return the tax rate, which is the second row in our table. So we're going to specify index two. Finally, close our brackets and press enter. It's worth noting at this point, this is an oversimplification of how tax works don't use this formula for calculating your own income tax rates. This is just an example. As we can see, we've specified a value of income, which is not in our table. So what we've done is we've stopped at the previous value in our table. So £10,000 fits between zero and £12,500. So we've stopped here at zero. If we change this value to say 30,000, the tax rate will be changed to 20% because we've now gone over the 12,500, but we haven't yet reached 50. That's everything we've got to show you in this tutorial. I hope you found it useful. If you have, leave us a like, subscribe, and leave us a comment. Also check out our other tutorials on how to use Google Sheets on our channel. I would recommend watching our tutorial on the 10 formulas that are most important in Google Sheets. But for now, thanks for watching and goodbye.